If you've ever wanted to take a yellow drummer track and turn it into a green drum track in GarageBand iOS, in this video, I'm going to show you how. Let's go. Step one is to create a drummer track here in GarageBand iOS. Now, I've already created a drummer track with Benny here. If you need to learn how to do that, check out the video down in the description. Step two is to create a drum track that we can copy this drummer to. So go to the bottom of your project here, hit the plus button there, go to drums and tap on acoustic drums. Now, you can adjust the type of drums that you have here. But the cool thing is you can actually go from any drummer to any drum kit. So just pick your favorite drums here and you're ready to go. Step three. Three, I like to put the drummer and the drum track next to each other. So let's grab Benny here, drag the drummer to just above these drums so that we know that we're going from here to here. Step four, we need to create an audio recorder track. It doesn't make a lot of sense, but it's the only way this is going to work. So come to the bottom left, hit the plus button, scroll across until you get to audio recorder and tap on that one. Now you just need to record something in, anything at all. I don't even have a mic plugged in here. I'm going to hit record and just let it run for a bar and then hit stop. Stop that one and we're ready for the next step. Step five, we need to take this audio recorder track and drag it up just above our drummer because this and this track are going to be what we need in order to create a MIDI drum track, which is what we're going to do next. Step six, and this is where it gets a bit tricky, so follow along closely. We're going to close this project, which will save the changes that we've made there. I'm now going to come into iCloud Drive, into GarageBand for iOS and create a new song. And what we need to do is actually set up a similar track to what we have in the original version. That involves setting up a drum track to start with. So we'll scroll across to our drums, tap on acoustic drums just like we did before, and then also hit the plus button here, scroll across and tap to set an audio recorder track. And once again, what we need to do is hit record and just record in a bar of nothing. Step seven, let's go back to our track view on this one. And once again, we want to move this to be above our drum track. And then we also need to duplicate to make another copy of this drum track. So tap on that one, hit the duplicate button. And now we, you should have a track that's set up exactly like this with an audio recorder and two identical empty drum tracks. Let's set up this project. So the one key thing we need to do is hit the plus button in the top right here, tap on your section and make this automatic. You can make this match the original project. Automatic's the easier way to go. So that is our project set up there. We can now save out of there and go back to our original project to copy over these drummers. So step eight, we're going to open up the old project here and we're going to copy these two tracks. To do that, the easiest way is to tap and hold and drag a rectangle angle over everything you've got there. Then tap, tap again, and hit the copy button. That's going to put it into the clipboard. We then need to close that project, reopen the one that we just created here, and here's the moment that you've been waiting for. What we need to do is select this second drum track, tap just here next to it, hit the paste button, and like magic, if we zoom in, it has created an exact replica of that Benny drummer track, but it's created it using the MIDI drum track. Step nine, you guessed it, we need to copy this back over to our original project. So once again, just tap outside, drag over everything, tap again, tap again, and hit the copy button. And I know it's a bit of fiddling around, if only we could do this in one step, but this is the way to do it. We come back to our original project. There's that drum track we've set up. We tap and we hit paste. And there you go. You can see we've now got the original Benny drummer track here and now our MIDI drums. And the beauty of this is we can now come in here and edit these and change them all around and do a whole bunch of cool things using the MIDI drums here in GarageBand. If you'd like even more control over your drums here in GarageBand, you can split these out into individual kit pieces. And I'll show you how to do that in the video that's Link right there and down in the description. I hope this helps you level up your GarageBand iOS creations and I'll see you next time.